Hi guys, welcome to my little video. I want to talk about how to make a flower essence. This is one of my favorite medicines to create because it's so intuitive and personal. Yeah, so um, I'm going to give a little bit of guidelines, but I really want you to remember that a flower essence is... Uh, it can be done in so many ways um, like there's the common ways that I will be talking about but really get creative with this you know you can get an essence of a rock or of a bug or of a star but um, I'm gonna be talking about flower essences because I have yet to create a spider essence, although I think that would be awesome. And if you if you create a spider essence, holler because I want to take some of that. Um, the creatrix. <laughs> but so how you make a flower essence is you're gonna find a flower in its full bloom when it is like super bright and fully blooming. That could be in the middle of the night for some flowers, um, but oftentimes you know it's spring and the flowers are bright and they're pretty much all bright and then whichever ones are calling out to you take them by cutting them off try not to touch them too much unless you're really trying to just like tell the flower what you're what you're wanting from it um but yeah just try to cut it off and then take your bowl underneath and gather the flowers with your bowl of water of course make sure your water is good water this is different for everybody. This could be well water, spring water, distilled water is good water too. So yeah, take your flowers and put it into the bowl of good water um, and then let it sit in the sun for a few hours. Now you have your flower water. This can be drink just like this unless you're like me and you put um, some poisonous flowers in there. <laughs> um, what you will do with this water though is take out the flowers, take out the, the bodies of the plant and strain it and then mix it with some alcohol half and half. I would use brandy. I like to use 50% or 50 percent of the mother essence brandy and 50 percent of it this water that is your mother essence and from there you can store that in a dark place and um, take a few drops into another little bottle this is your stock bottle and you can take it just like that this can be like 5 to 15 drops in a one ounce bottle and um, that's what you'll take right into you or you can even go go more and then from that stock bottle but five to 15 drops in another bottle so in the stock bottle will be again 50 percent water good water 50 percent brandy or alcohol of your choice and then five to 15 drops of water if you want to do it again you'll take that stock bottle and put it in the 50 percent water and 50 percent brandy so they say that the smaller you get the particles, the, the energy of the essence, the easier it is to get into your body. So the more times that you process the flower essence, the easier body, the easier it is for your body to accept it. And I think of this on like a very um, microscopic level. So the smaller we can create these energetic essences of the flowers, the easier it is for it to actually penetrate our cells. So if we just eat a flower, we're getting the medicine on a very physical level. But if we like really, really, really dilute, 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 dilute it, it can then enter into our cellular level, into our energetic body. <sighs> yeah, so after you've set it in the sun for a couple hours, that's all you really need to do and then dilute. Of course you can try to set it in the moon <laughs> or you can try to set it under a star 
<laughs> I think my dog's telling me this is all that we need to say. So yeah, have fun making your flower essences and get creative. Use your intuition. Flower essences are so amazing because you can truly use anything. Poisonous plants, non-edible plants, bugs, rocks, whatever it is you want to use. Have fun. Big blessings. <laughs>